HNN News is brought to you by Principal Toyota. And Landers Ford. It's another morning at Houston High, home of the Mustangs and HNN News. Whether it's the locker room or the classroom, Houston News Network is there, your go-to source for all high school headlines. It's time for HNN News, the most watched newscast at Houston High School. With Mason Gast. And Katie Upton. HNN News starts now. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm HNN All Star Katie Upton. And I'm HNN All Star Mason Gast, and these are your morning announcements for Monday, January 13th. The Germantown Education Commission wants you to join the upcoming Battle of the Brains and wants to talk to you about it. If you're interested in showing off your skills and this STEM competition, please come by Ms. Poole's room at 123 to get an application. You can even arrange to speak with the chairman of the Battle of the Brains about how you can win the cash prizes. The deadline to apply is February 7th. Student impact members, please remember that the club meeting room for this semester has been changed to Miss Crow's room M217. Also, please come by your room to pick up your t-shirt if you haven't already done so. The club will have a speaker at Wednesday's meeting, so make sure to be on time. There will be a key club meeting Wednesday after school in the circulation library. Remember, December and January hours are combined for 10 hours due at the end of this month. They hope to see you Wednesday. HN News will be right back after this quick commercial break. Opening doors for others is a common courtesy we all take part in, but opening doors for visitors at school creates a safety risk. If you see a former student you know trying to visit campus, don't open the door. If you see what seems to be a parent bringing food or a lost item to school, don't open the door. All visitors must get buzzed into the building through the main office entrance, so follow the rules and help keep. Houston safe. Welcome back. Now it's time for the H&N News Word Power Word of the Day. Today's word of the day is abet, a verb meaning to aid, assist, or encourage. As in, the spy escaped only because he had a secret friend on the inside to aid and abet his efforts. Try using it today. Students and teachers, will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Now in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, we will observe a moment of silence. Well, that's it for today, Mustangs. Have a great day, and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Yeah.